Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are a fan of books like myself, you might find this video a bit discouraging. You shouldn't. The essence of this video is not to discourage you from reading as many books as you would have wanted to read, but to help you achieve the goal of reading, especially self-help books, which is either to learn how to do something for the first time or how to overcome something and to dissuade you from the dangers of the addiction of the reading rush spiked by self-help books. In this video, I will share with you why reading 60 books a year might not change anything and how to make the most from the few books you have read so far. The truth is, when you cultivate the habit of reading books and you watch videos on YouTube that tells you how the average CEO reads 60 books a year and YouTubers like Ty Lopez and Jay Shetty crushing 365 books every year, you become very excited and trapped in this mental rush to read more books within the shortest time possible in order to associate with that category of people and feel important. The side effect of doing this is you become addicted to reading just for the sake of reading more and feeling good with the number of books you have read and not for the sake of knowledge. Self-help books are very addictive in their very nature. When you read one, you feel like reading all. The titles and content of these books are worded in such a way that they stimulate only the happy centers of your brain. Nothing is impossible with self-help books. Just by looking at their titles, you become motivated and excited to the point where you see yourself already achieving what you set out to achieve without even taking the first step. You see yourself overcoming habits you are yet to form or developing positive habits within few hours of reading. Bottom line, you are addicted. And this is evident when you start seeking fast reading methods to read a ton of books within the shortest time possible. Tim Ferry is your guide to go to if you want to read a 250 page book in 4 hours. There is nothing bad in reading many books. The problem with reading many books is that you won't achieve the goal of reading. For example, if you read a book a week, you might read approximately 60 books a year. But experts on habits formation say it takes 21 days to get rid of or form a new habit and it takes between 45 to 66 days to make it stick. If you read a book a week, a week is 7 days. Therefore, in 21 days, you would have read 3 books with 3 different ideas. In effect, you haven't had time to implement ideas you got from the first book and you will still not have time because you are to begin a new book on day 22. Secondly, you are faced with three different ideas and the problem of choice. You don't know which idea to implement first or not to implement. Except you are reading for entertainment purposes, then you don't have a limit to the number of books you should read. It would be a better idea to read as many books as possible on a topic or a problem you want to solve Compare the ideas or methods from the various books and select those that are applicable to you and implement them for 21 to 66 days to get the results you want before you move on to the next set of books. According to the 80th 20th rule, only 20% of what we read from books will help us get rid of or form new habits. So why read many books on a topic when a good book on that topic can help you Get rid of what you want to get rid of or learn what you want to learn and this will save you more time. What most people fail to realize is that most of the 21st century self-help authors get their inspiration from the old-fashioned templates of the early 19th century writers. Most books on public speaking, persuasion and how to develop self-confidence today have their core ideas resonating with that of Dale Carnegie in how to win friends and influence people. Most books on how to save money, pay off your debt, use ideas from The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clanson. And books on how to succeed and make money got their big ideas from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hills. The only difference between such books and those of the early authors is time frame. Instead of trying to read as many books as possible, which is not a bad thing to do, why not read a few books? Take your time and implement what you've read so far. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.